Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Nice day here in the Horde, and as a matter of fact, there's supposed to be a whole bunch of nice days. Um, how does one say uncle, or how does one say I give up, or how does one say I have to retreat from something? Um, you guys are looking at my meter maid police Cushman. I have to uh, I have to say goodbye to it. I'm gonna give the folks on YouTube first um, refusal and specifically Musty One expressed some interest. So I'm gonna give him first refusal. Um, if he refuses it, then whoever else wants it, the first one here with the flatbed truck to take it away gets the Cushman. I'm only selling this one. I'm not selling the one on the side of the property over there that's a real rat um, because I, I, I want to turn it into a tow truck. Um, this rig is basically complete. I do not have the key. Um, I do not have the seat. That's why I use the word basically. Uh, carburetor is here. Carburetor is worth well over a hundred bucks by itself. Uh, the engine, if, uh, if I could show you one-handed, I think I'm showing you. Uh, I don't want to drag my hand through the... But the engine is free. and That's what I'm attempting to show you. Uh, this thing ran um, and one of the reasons why it's not running now is when I drove it around a little bit, it was geared a little high and it seemed a little bit top heavy for driving around my property. I felt like it was going to flip and I've been thinking about that and I've been thinking about the reason why it's not running is because I don't have much of a use for it. Um, it's got 15,000 miles on it. Um, here, let's see if I can't get in the other door and show you the tag. Well, there's one tag. So, gross vehicle weight is 2,400 pounds, so it's heavy. Um, so you got this vehicle, classification is a motorcycle. And there's the second tag. And I guess from the second tag, as I'm looking at that right there, I think, I think it's a 1978. So, not crashed it has some people call this rust some call it patina call it you want. I told you guys right I'm after oh, that's my sign that doesn't come with it my uh, my stop sign does not come with it my bus sign and my vehicle makes turns but you guys could see the trunk opens so what am I after I want 500 bucks in cash um, I'll load it on your flatbed or um, come up with some really interesting trades like a Honda all-terrain vehicle these things running by me Roadworthy typically go for somewhere around 2,500 bucks. Not roadworthy, they go somewhere 1,200, 1,000, 1,200. Um, I really don't want to part it out. I really don't want to do that. 
I want to keep it intact for somebody who wants to do something with it. It's a 1978. Here's what the front looks like. Um, but if somebody wants to keep it intact, fine. If somebody wants to part it out, fine. After I get my 500 bucks or we work out some kind of trade, then uh, it's yours to do with whatever you wish. If I keep it between this one and the one over here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up parting it out. Uh, I'm going to put the engine on the side because I don't want that engine in there. And probably what I'm going to do, I only need one of them for the project I'm thinking about. I'm probably going to put together kind of a flatbed tow truck type situation because I'm having, I'm not getting any younger. It's getting harder to move stuff around the horde and I really need to, uh, to build a, a truck that's going to help me do that. The mule is good for loading up, but the mule doesn't weigh that much. So part of my problem with the mule is if I, I mean the mule weighs, I don't know, 500 pounds, six, seven, eight, whatever. The engine and tranny are out of it. It's still pretty heavy. Call it 800 pounds. These things weigh over 2,000. So if I put some kind of um, wrecker assembly on one of these things even after I pull the engine out and get a lighter engine into it and all, sorry about the wind I still think it's going to weigh over 2,000 pounds which gives me the ability to move around 500, 800 pounds, 1,000 pounds something like that with it obviously not sideways it'll just roll it but um, so that's where it's going um, I would consider turning one of these possibly even into a snow plow. But before, once again, before I part this one out, this is the one that's almost complete. Um, how wide is it? I don't know. One, two, it's about four foot wide, 50 inches wide, call it 48 inches wide. How long is it? It's about eight foot long. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's about nine foot long. Um, so it's four foot by nine foot. And once again, I gotta, I gotta put it for sale. It's got a two-cylinder air-cooled Olin's engine on it. It looks like an airplane motor. I don't know how much you guys bothered looking at it while I was turning it over by hand right see the fins there and those tubes are the push rods I don't know are you gonna focus for me you can read that tag If you guys are all familiar with what these parts go for, they go for big bucks. Um, so this is about it. It's been sitting for a while, like, I don't know, over five years now. So are you going to have to do some work to it? Yes. The engine is not seized, but is the clutch stuck to the pressure plate maybe maybe not I don't know um, I don't know be a great thing to kind of clean up and repower it has kind of a traditional engine in it right the engine the drive shaft goes toward the back and uh, drives a, um, a standard looking axle um, it's easy to show you guys on this one because it's missing the bed. It's got a three feet speed transmission plus reverse. You can see that one had 15,000 miles on it. Um, the 
the uh, local police department use them for traffic control. I don't know, could you see there? You could kind of see the rear end and the drive shaft. I don't know, maybe, yeah, you can see the rear end, the drive shaft. So, um, anyway, so it's for sale. Got to go. I don't, I don't have the space for it. Musty one, if you want it, let me know. We'll make uh, arrangements. If not, whoever wants to be next in line, um, please, please get back to me. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do. Basically, I've made a decision. I'm, I'm not moving it again. I'm, I just moved it to its current position, and I kind of, you know, it's been in the way here. So if I if I move it again, um, I want to put it on somebody's trailer. If not, my, once again, my lean is I'm going to turn it into a truck, a yard truck, much like this guy. The only difference is. It's going to be a yard truck with a wrecker on it, where this one has is a yard truck with a pickup slash dump body, right? Um, I just can't. I got to make some decisions for this stuff. I'm uh, on my way to 60 years old, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get to every project. Even this year, I finished a lot, a lot of projects. I got rid of a couple of motorcycles, a couple of cars, a couple of mini bikes, right? I got that big red running. I brought that thing back to life. I brought this thing back to life. I brought the 350, the um, Foreman 350 back to life. I've, I've been doing good, but under that pile of crap right there is a Cushman um, dumper. And I really kind of need that to come back to life because when it comes back to life, now I got a backhoe loader and I got a little dump truck. It makes moving dirt around and landscaping so much easier. So that's one Cushman project. If I take the ratty one and turn it into a yard truck, that's Cushman project number two. I don't plan on using the original drive chain in it, so I could afford to get rid of one of the drive chains. The other drive chain I'd like to keep around for the Cushman down in the lower garage, a Cushman pickup truck. So I do want to keep some parts floating around, um, but I can't afford to get rid of this. Um, please get back to me. It, Remember, this is uh, my 30-day rule. If we cross the 30 days and somebody hasn't spoken, um, anything could happen. But within that 30-day rule, remember also, it is November 10, 11, something like that. We all know what's coming. And let me give you a hint. It's not, well, daylight savings time is coming in March. <laughs> Summer's coming next year, but before that, we have to get through winter, so please get to me. All right, folks, I've been rambling too long. I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks. And buy this Cushman, 1978, meter-made Cushman, three-wheel. 500 bucks cash, or we got to work out a Honda deal, right? Or something else cool. Maybe you guys got something else cool. Chances are it has to have an engine for me to think that it's cool, though. All right, folks. Bye now.